so this was developed basically to remove the uh, order problem in fish storage facilities and supermarkets. Uh, what uh, the principles behind this is the uh, nanotechnology and nanotechnology combined with the activated carbon filtration. So here what happens is uh, in this reactor the air is come, air comes into this reactor and then uh, with these nanoparticles it, it can destroy all the uh, foreign materials like bacteria, volatile gases and then uh, it is going to be filtered with this activated carbon filter. Then what happens is with this uh, operation of this reactor inside the chiller or a supermarket we can reduce the airborne bacteria and volatile gases. In main we can reduce the odor problem in supermarkets and fish storage facilities. In the Sri Lankan scenario, the, the nanotechnology has not uh, been uh, used uh, in a developed manner. So we can introduce this nanotechnology to the industry as well as to the food industry to reduce these uh, odor life problems. Yeah, in developed countries, they use nanotechnology, but I think this uh, for the odor removal problem, they have none of the countries or none of the uh, like none of the industry they haven't used this technology so that's why this has been selected as the best innovation uh, with the, the, sleep, uh, the inventors commission they have selected this as the uh, best innovation in the faculty of agriculture university uh, research symposium obviously we can use this for other industries like like public hospitals to actually the washrooms like because there's a huge problem with the order uh, I'm Sajay Rabanda from uh, Department of Philosophy and Psychology. Uh, we are from University of Sri Jayadipura. So the idea was given by uh, Dr. Asha Fernando uh, from our department. So basically uh, our app is called Smart Ceylon Village. So we are basically measure, measuring the uh, ethics in, in a village. So uh, if you are a person, uh, you can uh, ethically measure your own village uh, in respect of uh, profession, organization places or anywhere so what you have to do is uh, there's a question in so you can fill it out and you can get a knowledge uh, whether whether you are ethically contributing your village or not uh, my name is Jnana Divyan. My school name is Jakarandan Ramapurnay Vithyadeva. This device is banana leaf cutter. This over 15 banana leaves can be cut at the same time. Uh, banana leaves are more environmental and friendly. Our healthier than using lunch seeds. I mean, we exhibit uh, the the novel uh, the novel creations are made by Sri Lankans, and at the same time, we do evaluation. So we we screen them and we use them for national. I mean, we whoever we screen here will send them to the uh, international events for them to go and get the exposure and go, go and compete with the other countries. So that's the whole, uh, I mean, uh, the sort of uh, idea of Sahasaknipa. Uh, and uh, if I uh, little bit uh, go into the details, uh, um, it's about 50% uh, about of uh, the, the community here, the inventors here, are, are kids, I mean, 
that will be the the, 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 the step of this particular I mean the invention screening program because I mean they will be the next generation and we need to promote them some of these inventions are not really inventions they are they, they, they may be existing in another another country but still we always try to recognize the innovative thinking so that is what we do with the, the school uh, inventors if you think of the innovative uh, the creativity I, I, I can't see a difference between Sri Lankan students and uh, the, the, uh, the rest of the world because our, our innovative thinking the creativity and that particular talent is really high but unfortunately they do they are not that exposed enough I mean they don't have the exposure to the other world the other country what they do and because of that uh, the, the final outcome the which they develop are not up to the level of the other uh, other countries. So that there is a there is a huge uh, difference between uh, uh, the, the level uh, the, the huge differ difference in the levels of inventions, but the creativity and their creative capacity is far above than the other countries. I'm very sure. But unfortunately, Sri Lankan scenario, we don't uh, we don't have a proper market in the country. I mean, we don't we are not really productive. I mean, uh, we don't give the priority to production innovation. That culture is not there. That recognition is not there. So with that, the, the innovative culture is going down every day. Uh, in, in halfway, I'm accepting your uh, blames uh, that you know these inventions are not going to the, the market. But at the same time, we have to understand we don't have a problem market in the, in the country. We don't have industry. I mean, when the industry is booming, they they will find problems and they will they will they they need invention inventors to come and solve their problems. But unfortunately, we don't have that particular productive culture, productive nature in the country. So be, because of that. Uh, they don't have problems and uh, whatever produced by the invention, inventors they are not really going to the, the market because th that market is not that uh, developed enough to absorb the invention. So there is a huge gap in uh, invention and the marketability. That is one issue. And the other one is uh, the political willing to support and promote the invention in the country. We don't have a uh, uh, sort of a recognition for the education. We don't have recognition for the, for the inventions and we are, we are giving uh, the priority and the recognition for all the other uh, the, uh, nonsense in the country. So that is the whole issue behind the the, the, the development of the country. When you think of 71 years the past, we never recognize invention. We, re we recognize politicians, we recognize sportsmen, we recognize, I mean, we have to recognize them. Yes, I mean, of course, I, I'm not going to blame you for recognizing, but at the same time, you have to give the same due respect to the, the inventors and the people who have the knowledge and the wisdom, but we don't value them.